exploring the Cook Islands, you'll likely find yourself on one of the two key islands, Rarotonga or Aitutaki. Most travelers tend to make their base on Rarotonga, given its larger size and abundance of accommodation choices. In this video, I'm going to present to you with three different options for where to stay on the beautiful island of Rarotonga. We'll cover budget-friendly, family-friendly, and luxurious lodging choices. So let's not delay any further. Let's dive right in. I'd like to start by mentioning the Black Pearl Beachside Apartments. These budget-friendly accommodations offer a comfortable stay with a 3-star rating. My family and I stayed here for a night before our flight back to Hawaii. The Black Pearl Beachside Apartments offer three types of accommodations, Garden View, Pool View, and Cabana. If you're considering the Garden View option, prices range from $100 to $160 per night, depending on the season of your visit to the island. While there are more affordable options available on the island, I highly recommend the Black Pearl Beachside Apartments due to their spacious and well-maintained rooms. It's worth noting that the Garden View rooms do not have air conditioning, but there are ceiling fans and louvered windows that allow for natural ventilation. One of the highlights of this property is the centrally located swimming pool, making it easy to take a refreshing dip. Additionally, there's a convenience store, Cavera, just a short walk away, perfect for picking up basic necessities during your vacation. Another advantage is its proximity to two fantastic dining options, the Shipwreck Hut, one of Rarotonga's best places to eat, and the Mori Cafe, which serves delicious lunch meals and is open on Sundays when many other restaurants are closed. However, the most outstanding feature is the easy access to a beautiful, often deserted beach. Just a quick stroll across Ara Tapu Street, and you'll find yourself on the shores of Rarotonga's crystal clear turquoise lagoon, perfect for relaxation or a refreshing swim. If you're traveling with children or a large group or family, I highly recommend considering the Rarotongan Beach Resort and Lagunario. Situated on a sprawling six-acre beachfront property, this is one of the largest resorts on the island. While a standard room starts at 160 per night, it's worth noting that you can book up to four bedrooms for larger groups, though this comes at a higher cost. Consequently, the resort tends to attract numerous families with children. It's important to manage your expectations when it comes to accommodations here. It's not a luxury resort like a Hilton or a Four Seasons. The room may appear dated and are relatively compact in size. However, they provide all the essentials you need, including a comfortable bed, a microwave oven, a small refrigerator, ample storage space, with an outside shower area. It's quite a unique feature. Each morning, you'll receive an activity schedule to help you plan your day. Now let's talk about the amenities you can enjoy at this resort. First and foremost, there's the on-site restaurant, Captain Andy's Beach Bar and Grill, which is open during Sundays, an unusual convenient in Cook Islands where most businesses including restaurants typically close on Sundays. The restaurant's prime location right on the beach offers stunning views of the lagoon. It serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. While you dine, you can watch hundreds of reef fish swimming in the shallow waters just below the restaurant. When you book your stay, breakfast is included and served buffet style. Although the breakfast menu is somewhat limited, offering pancakes, a variety of bread and pastries, and some fruits, it's generally sufficient. You also have the option to order from an a la carte breakfast menu. For lunch and dinner, I particularly recommend trying the seafood dishes at Captain Andy, especially the island fries, which I adore. 
and ikamata, a traditional Polynesian dish similar to a ceviche. Every Monday night, the resort hosts a Polynesian show, complete with an authentic Polynesian meal for an additional fee. Guests have the opportunity to sample island favorites like ikamata, island potato salad made with sweet potatoes, turmeric chicken, and potato curry. The traditional Polynesian dances showcased during the show are highly entertaining. The far show being a particular highlight, although it's a relatively brief presentation. The resort offers a range of additional amenities for guests to enjoy. The swimming pool, while available for all guests, tend to be primarily frequented by children, as the water is not heated. I attempted to take a swim in the pool but found the water to be quite chilly for my liking. However, the children, including my son, seem unfazed by the cold water. Additionally, there's a small splash zone located behind the main pool for kids to have some water fun. For those looking for indoor activities, there are pool tables available with one located right next to the main pool and another smaller one inside the kids club. Speaking of kids club, they have the Moko Kids Club where children can engage in activities like table tennis, watch movies, and read books under the supervision of a trained staff. But the standout feature of this resort is its exceptional location within the crystal clear Aroa Lagoon Marine Reserve. This designation ensures that the lagoon remains pristine and teeming with marine life. As I mentioned earlier, even snorkeling in just ankle-deep water, you can witness a multitude of tropical fish. Venture a bit farther into the lagoon and you'll encounter beautiful coral formations and schools of fish. During my visit, I had the incredible opportunity to observe some large fish. And I even witnessed jackfish protecting eels. There was also a giant black triggerfish that seemed entirely unbothered by my presence. The size difference between the triggerfish and the surrounding fish was truly astonishing. This unparalleled natural beauty is precisely why I recommend staying at the Raratongan Beach Resort and Lagunarium. For a more opulent and homely experience, consider a stay at Te Vakaroa Villas, nestled in Muri. Muri stands out as a captivating and sought-after tourist hub where you'll find most of the island's resorts. Te Vakaroa Villas offer an exclusive selection of only six villas, with the one-bedroom villa priced around $250 and the two-bedroom suite at approximately $500 per night. While it may seem steep, let me unveil the exceptional value you receive for your investment particularly by showcasing the amenities available in the two-bedroom villa we chose during our stay. As you step onto the property, you'll be greeted by a lush garden that exudes a tranquil ambience. During our visit, we were pleasantly surprised to find a bunch of ripe bananas hanging near our staircase, and they were generously offered for our enjoyment. You come and help yourself to bananas. <laughs> you just take it? <laughs> When you want Once inside, you'll discover an open concept living space that seamlessly integrates a sunny kitchen area adjacent to a dining table. The comfortable lounge area is adorned with elegant seating arrangements and a sizable 55-inch TV. As for me, the most remarkable feature is the private veranda with outdoor seating, providing a front row view of the iconic Muri Beach and its crystal clear lagoon. Venturing to the second level, you'll find the bedrooms. The bedroom closest to the stairs is furnished with two twin beds, ideal for children, and features its own splendid bathroom. The primary bedroom, situated across from the kids' room, is not overly spacious but offers a comfortable queen-sized bed. The property boasts a generously sized heated swimming pool and a jacuzzi both of which we thoroughly enjoyed during our stay. A 
Additionally, there are ample lounge chairs, cabanas, and a charming gazebo with comfortable seating. However, the most outstanding feature of this property is its direct access to the stunning Muri Beach and its crystal clear lagoon. Truly an unbeatable privilege. Breakfast is included in your stay, and each morning the staff delivers a delightful breakfast spread for guests to savor. For lunch and dinner, if you prefer not to prepare your own meals, Te Vacaroa Villas is conveniently located within a short stroll of numerous dining options, including the renowned Mooring Fish Cafe and the Muri Night Market, a culinary haven where you can sample local delicacies from a variety of food stalls offering seafood, barbecue dishes, and tropical fruits all at a very reasonable prices. So there you have it, my top recommendations for accommodations on the captivating island of Rarotonga in the Cook Islands. If you're curious about the story behind our journey to Cook Islands, click on the thumbnail. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, travelers, bye for now.